Hello, everyone, and welcome to Pawfology. Hope you all had a good Friday. My name is Michael. I know there's a lot of new people here, and this is Emily. We are at Costco right now. So I love Costco, and I wanted to uh, just go here to celebrate me being in the video with Peter Mon. I mean, which is partly true, you know, like I, I do love Costco and I did want to go here. So, but I was in a video with Peter Mon and it was awesome. Okay. I, Peter picked me up. We, we made a, a drama channel video, his main channel. We did a, a vlog, which was really fun. I, it was a great time. I was, you know, it's a very surreal experience. Uh, cause I've been watching Peter for so long. It's crazy. But he's awesome i had a great time and hopefully we can do it again soon so yeah here's emily hey everyone so i also got to meet peter yesterday which was so fun so cool i felt like i was meeting a famous person i told him that i was like oh my gosh peter you're like famous he pulled up right outside of our building and i was like Peter! And then I gave him a huge hug and he smelled so good. He smells amazing. <laughs> and he his eyes are so beautiful. Like the the blueness of them is just unreal to me. So that was two first impressions. And he is just like exactly like what you would expect. Like just like he is on Peter Vlogs. So I was a little bit jealous that I couldn't also go in the car and ride around with Michael and Peter, but I do know that very soon Alex and I will get to join the fun and like go out to dinner or to brunch or something with um, Peter and Michael. So that's going to be super fun. And yeah, it's just like very much, I know this sounds super cheesy, but it's kind of like a dream come true. I agree. <laughs> it like we you know have lived in indy for about a year and then before that like for several years we lived in illinois like several hours away i don't even know how michael found peter but like we've watched him for years and then like the fact that we moved to indy and we like michael did the peter mon vlog challenge and then he they talked on the phone and then they actually like met and did videos it's so crazy. I hope that we can like actually continue to hang out and be friends. I'm acting as if I hung out with them. I didn't, but you know, I have goals. <laughs> okay, Michael, what was your favorite part of hanging out with Peter? Or like what was a highlight for you of of your time last night? I would say the whole thing was a highlight. I had a lot of fun. I mean for real. But if I had to pick one you know moment i did like going uh to the garage down there with him it was really cool garage yeah the garage we drove by the garage it's the food court area and i have never been down there when all the lights were on and no one was down there it was really pretty that was that was really fun and yeah that was probably my favorite moment or trying i don't know just the whole thing was really good just it was a good conversation i enjoyed i enjoyed it so yeah, I would say that. It was really, it was great. Well, I might as well just tell you about the rest of my day real fast. Oh, go for it. So I went to work and then I had to leave at like 2.20 to go drive to Butler to meet with my coach. And that was really good. I actually walked into like the business building and they were giving a tour to a family for like an oh, undergrad college tour and it was just so like wow i feel really old actually not really old just like i'm so removed from that but that's just a side note um also though during work i went down to our like balcony area that they have for all the tenants of the building and sat out there because it's it was like 80 degrees today and it's in the shade. It was perfect. I want to do that more often at work. It was so fun. You all, I love being outside. I just love sitting outside. After work, 
our pool is open now and I went and laid by the pool after work and I listened to Peter and Michael's <laughs> vlog last night. So I didn't actually make it all the way through because it was like, you know, over an hour long. Um, but yeah, I might watch it again. Yeah. So it's just good. And I need to watch the drama video. Yeah. So <laughs> can I tell them about the comment that I showed you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I was looking at the comments on Peter's vlog. Obviously, I want to see what everyone's saying. I always look at the comments of Michael's vlogs, and I usually like every comment. Anyway, this one person was like, oh, my gosh, I can't stop staring at Michael. He's he's so handsome. <laughs> and Michael, I just sent that to him, so now he can... You know, feel good about going over and watching, rewatching the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious and so cute. All right, that I'll stop talking now, but I'm just very excited that we got to meet Peter. Yeah, yeah. he's our friend now officially. How cool! It is really cool. Um, oh, well, can I get it to move? Oh, I think I'm gonna have to turn my camera off. Hold on. So last night, it was really fun to drive around downtown Indy with Peter because he knew a lot of places that he had been a long time ago when he was younger. We drove by an apartment and he was, he said, oh, I remember when I partied up there or we would drive by a, um, I think it was some bar that used to have drag shows. And he, he said he remembers going to that place. Really interesting, you know, uh, because it's downtown changes so much. So, yeah, it was fun. I really, I did enjoy it and enjoy him. Uh, oh, he got talking about how he got his book deal, which is crazy. You know, how he uh, met someone at a some show and they wanted to publish a book with him. And very interesting, you know, just meeting someone for the first time and eventually it leads to a book deal which i never plan to write a book but still interesting and just that whole world um but i think that's all i mean as far as last night i really enjoyed it i thought it was a lot of fun if you haven't watched the vlog you should go watch it which i would imagine you know if you're, you're coming over here you probably know so since most of the people that follow are a part of the wolf pack so hello everyone if you're still watching this, comment down below. Should I say wolf? Wolf. 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 W O O F. Wolf. <laughs> if you're still watching this, comment that down below. And I think that's everything. I think that's all. So, um, as far as like my day today, this is in, I mean, I didn't do anything at all besides work. Uh, week, you know, I, I didn't go to a coffee shop. I didn't, you know, go anywhere. I just worked all day, stayed at home. Very crazy day. Cause I'm getting ready. Both of, Emily and I are both getting ready to go to Florida and you know, you're just wrapping stuff up at work, which I'm very excited to go to Florida. I think that'll be really fun. And then I get to see my mom and dad, which I haven't seen them in a very long time. So I get to go to Florida, then Virginia for a few days and that'll be great. I get to see my parents. I get to see some of my friends from back home and I haven't seen in a very long time. I think that would be awesome. And I'm, I'm going to vlog some of it. So my vlogs are going to be a little different. Emily may not be in them or she will not be in them Wednesday through Sunday. Probably won't see her after Tuesday. So, or you, maybe you'll, show, you'll see her at the airport on Wednesday when I fly out or something, but that's what's happening. I hope I can, uh, you know, edit and get it all up and going on YouTube. Um, for the edits I do do, I don't do a lot of editing, but you know, when you're away using a laptop, I don't use a laptop. So I just got to get used to that for the next week. And I, is there anything else I want to mention? We're still at, we're, we are still in the Costco parking lot. It is closing time. And we saw this uh, truck backing out of a parking spot. Okay, this lady didn't put her buggy away. And I think she left it like on the corner of her tr 
truck or something, not directly behind it, but the way she backed up, it, it like pushed the car directly behind her Ram truck. And she just went for it. She just kept backing up and kept hitting it. I'm just thinking you need to get out of your car, which I was pushing. I was kind of far away. So, you know, she just kept backing up. Eventually she got out because she realized she couldn't back up. So funny. (laughs) She didn't want to put her car, her buggy away. So it's funny that you call it a buggy. A buggy versus car, buggy car, buggy, you know. Yeah, I call it a buggy. Some days I call it a cart. It's whatever I'm feeling that day. Normally, I, I, I think growing up, I only called it a buggy. I I got used to saying cart around here. I guess it just depends. Which I can ask it again. Do you say buggy or do you say cart? I think it depends where you're from. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. You know, downtown Indy is picking up. I mean, it wasn't very busy last night, but tonight... It seemed like a lot of people were downtown. A lot of police officers were downtown because there's stuff going on. The Wrath Skeller was uh, packed. And I think it's going to be a busy, and I think it's going to be a very beautiful weekend. Mm -hmm. Is it sunny? Yeah. So downtown will be pretty busy. Tomorrow, I would like to do one interesting thing tomorrow, like maybe go to a good coffee shop or or something. I got to take this test. It's going to take me probably two hours to do. And so I'm not looking forward to that. So I got to get that done. And I got to work on homework. Uh, I'll probably work on a lot of my homework while I'm in the airport and just in Florida and stuff. So I got class on Thursday. Not that anyone cares about this, but I got class on Thursday. And I will not be... I'll be on vacation, but also in class. So I'm nervous uh, that I will have to, I I just hope my Zoom works. You know what I mean? It's just nerve wracking. Thinking that, oh, the professor calls on me or I have to, so I have to engage in like Participation. participation, but it's different. It's a, oh, a debate. So you have to engage in a uh, like fruitful debate to get points. So that, that will be interesting. I'm not, yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. So I got to do that. I got to get prepped for that. And, but that's all. So tomorrow, maybe we'll go somewhere, get some good coffee. I'm not going to have good coffee for a while. I'm going to bring that, uh, that proud Mary coffee with me and probably brew some of it while we're in on vacation you know i might i pro okay honestly i'll probably go to calvin fletcher's my favorite coffee shop in indy and get their um natural columbia so i really really like it and they're having 25 percent off tomorrow so i might stop by there grab some coffee to take with me so i can have a couple options and i think i'll be good to go so that's uh that's what I'm doing today. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. Or that's the plan. If I don't go to Calvin Fletcher's, I'm probably just too busy. But or they might be sold out of my stuff cuz 25% off is a pretty good deal for a lot of people. So, we'll see. I'm probably going to sleep a lot tonight. Yeah. So, yeah, and I might uh I think that's everything. All these people that just subscribed are like probably thinking what do they get themselves into? I'm just over here talking, but Hey, that's, that's the whole point of this vlog. You know, I'm not over here trying to impress anyone, anyone. (laughs) you know, I mean, you're still, you're subscribing to me just talking about my day and maybe I go, I mean, I'm going to go to some places around downtown. So just a forewarning and it's, it is, that's what's, that's what's happening in this, uh, on this channel. Go back and watch the Peter Mon vlog challenge. Yeah, watch the Peter Mon vlog challenge. That that was always that was really fun to make. So hopefully my friends Chris and Kirsten will do the Peter Mon vlog challenge or complete it. They have a they have a uh, teaser video up, but they haven't officially started it yet. Or maybe they have. I don't think they have. So I'm probably gonna call Chris tonight and and try to convince them to do it. Because I would love for them to do it. They did Vlogmas. So this is like my 200th something video. Isn't that crazy? Wow. 
I mean, I'm, I'm past 200 now. That's wild to me. So even though it's vlog 161, it's, that doesn't include the Piermon vlog challenge and before, uh, before Christmas. Vlogmas. Yeah. Vlogmas. So, but yeah, that's what's happening. It's a beautiful day in downtown Indy. I, well, we're not downtown right now, but it is a beautiful downtown. I love driving at this, at this time of day. I just, I love it. It's my favorite time of day when it's dusk or about to be dusk. Ooh, I wonder if there's cicadas in Virginia. I haven't seen a single cicada. I'm not even kidding. I was expecting there to be more cicadas downtown. Well, semi, just because I, I would assume they would be downtown. You know what I mean? Even just a little bit. I mean, especially in some of the more uh, areas that have trees. But I haven't seen any. So... I'm a little surprised by that, but I'm sure they will be in Virginia. And I'm sure, you know, well, uh, I have a friend whose whole backyard is full of cicadas. Like she can hear them uh, just buzzing around constantly. And the dogs will try to eat them and craziness. Well, and the birds are tired of eating them. So they, uh, they're just there making tons of noise. So, are you being impacted by the cicada situation? Maybe. Or maybe you will be. Oh, I hope there's fireflies in Virginia. I love fireflies so much. So, okay, I think that's everything for today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, if you're new here, thank you for watching. Uh, and if no one's told you this today, you are loved. And this world's a better place because you are here. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.